Hey Zara and Quinn, hope you girls are having a good night. Tonight, we are gonna read another book by Tay Diggs. The name of this book is called My Friend. Let's begin. That has very nice art, by the way. So, um, take some time and enjoy the art. Great art is always a wonder to look at. Here's the title, My Friend. Like it's two cool kids. See how this book goes. Rise and shine. Time to climb out of bed. Do what daddy said. Brush those teeth. Daddy's like, look, my teeth are white. It's sparkly and clean. You gotta get yours just like that. I don't wanna hear any if, ands, or buts. We're gonna make this happen, you know? Fill them. And comb that head. Looks like. The friend on the right has a pick that you can use to pick out your hair when you have, you know, hair like that guy, similar to how my hair is. And you pick it out and it makes it stand up and uh, it's easier to manage whether you're going to wear an afro or whether you're just going to wear it out uh, or get it braided or whatever you may want to do. Slide without care down those stairs, then dip, don't trip, and sit right quick. Um, I'm realizing the commonality going on with these stories. Rainbow power is a real thing. Um, we gotta be able to harness that one day so we can run to super high speeds. Shovel down that waffle a bit, then split. Wait, don't forget your lunch bag. Morning times are always busy, aren't they? Gotta get to school, get to work, so you can learn or do what you're supposed to do for work. My friend, it looks like they finally met with each other. So I'm guessing they're in front of the school. They both got their lunch and they are ready to play and learn. Let's see what happens next. What's happening, man? Then we slap hands. Mine's is kind of chocolate. His is kind of tan. Then comes the shake as we make, we make as we take. Our time with each grip switch, then break. They got a secret handshake, it looks like. It's pretty cool. I got a secret handshake with a couple of my friends, too. We look pretty cool when we do it. Big smiles for Miles walking down that aisle of the bus. Must grab that seat just for us. The one cat I trust. It's always good when you have one friend that you trust. Um, it just makes makes going to school so much funner. It makes life so much funner. Once you get one of those friends, if you already don't have those friends, girls, you girls have each other. So always remember you can trust one another with that. But never let go of those friends. They'll be there with you throughout the good times and the bad times. Now, let the fun begin. Chatting and laughing, whispers and grin about today's game. Who might lose? Who might win? Um, I played this game before as a kid. I can't think of the name right now. Um, I'm gonna find out. I'm find out about it later. We'll talk about it. But it's like a Marvel-related game. It's pretty cool. Um, Quinn, I don't think you should play it. Um, not for little babies. You might try to eat the marbles. We don't want that happening. My friend, these are the things I go through with you, my crew, cause you're. Now we have the names. We look at it from left to right. It says Robbie, Annie, Yuri, Olu, Walker, Mike, Rumi, D, Mari, Shane, and Chip. Looks like it's nap time too. So uh, some of them are not taking naps. I see one giggling over there. Um, the other one's sound asleep and then they're just lollygagging and playing around. They're gonna be tired later. My friend, jumping off the bus, don't get crushed. The opposite of hushed. Kids shoving and screaming and even tag teaming. Race to class, out of breath learning. So this building says museum, the history of hip hop exhibit. 
and looks like the history exhibit is available from 7-7, which is July 7th, through 11-11, which is November 11th. Slamming in the seats, banging out beats on desk, rapping and repeat, using hands and feet until teacher speaks, while I compare sneaks with, oh, they got like a DJ board, they got these cool hats and shades on, pretty cool this museum is pretty cool <laughs> my friend so in the background the words my friend are in the background while they're both on mics and wearing these cool hats the friend on the left has a hat that says jam 80 and the friend on the right says rock and it's like a crown with a king students names are uttered the response a mutter here yep from all the others Every name on the list, not one child missed. Attendance is done, are we dismissed? That's good. All the child, other kids are there, nobody's lollygagging and getting lost and stuff. I've had a uh, few scares uh, when I was a kid in the museum. Um, got lost one day, I think mama was actually volunteering. Um, I just got sidetracked and walked away. Uh, wasn't wasn't a good experience i was scared um and then she found me she was mad at me but then she was also happy she found me so word of advice girls always stay with your friends and stay with your teachers more so than your friends if you're friends with your teachers stay with them but don't go off and lollygag in museums or places you're unfamiliar with because the worst thing ever is to get lost you get lost then you have to find your way back if you can, then all the parents are gonna worry about you. We don't want that. <laughs> Off the gym time, single foul line, my friend in front while I fold in behind. His duty is to lead, switching off the lights is mine. Off we march, keeping time. Oh, they look, they look pretty cool, playing basketball. Okay, okay. But as I chill, since we had our time to kill, I spot my friend spilling ill will. He sticks his leg out, then comes a trip, then a shout, then he points and laughs. What's that about? What is that about? What do you girls think? The kid's on the ground with the pout. I make up my mind to change his route because he's my friend. That's a good friend. A good friend is always going to be there to celebrate with you when you're doing right, but also let you know when you're doing wrong. So as you can see, the friend with the number one jersey, it looks like he tried to bully the other kid or try to make fun of him. And that's never a nice thing to do. But his friend, his best friend, his boy, number two, realized that his friend was not acting quite like his friend should be acting. And he knows his friend is better than that. So he stood in between and stopped it because they trust each other. He realized, hey, friend, you're not acting right. Let's make this happen. You're better than that. Respect number two. Respect. I pull him aside and say, it's not cool when you act a fool. Why trip somebody up and make fun? That's not how this should be done. Makes no sense. Nuh-uh. That's not how you treat someone. Exactly, you know, because you don't want that to happen to you. Like, you don't want someone to trip you and make fun of you, and then everyone thinks it's okay. Bullying is not cool at all. Never bully somebody, you know. It, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know how sad they may be that day. And when you do mean things to mean people, it just doesn't feel good, and you can make them very sad. My friend then slowly started to melt. He seemed to feel a little what I felt. And that's how you know at the end of the day, his friend, he was just, maybe he just had an off moment, but he's a good hearted person. And then the fact that his number two told number one that what he was doing was wrong makes both of them great friends and they can respect each other and understand that it's time to improve. He took a deep breath, then knelt and helped up the fallen one, apologized for what he'd done. That's what's up. We have to always make sure we apologize for the wrong things we do. That's the only way we're gonna grow, you know? We brushed off his clothes and continued to gym, which is where he chose my friend and me to be on his team. The scene was like a buddy-buddy machine where we all work together. Know what I mean? Friends lend a hand when they can. They help to blend in men, but it doesn't depend on whether you're doing right, 
wrong or right. A friend can send or send or send or lend a shining light to a situation, add some bright to any frustration. Remember these bars. These are important bars to live by. Looking after in any disaster, come together and join in laughter. Arriving at a beautiful end, all because you're my friend. The end. Another great night, another great story. We learn more and more about the rights and wrongs to do. Um, keep that in your mind, especially as you go, especially as you, are, as you go through kindergarten and you're meeting new people, you'll realize who your true friends are because they're gonna be there to have your back, but they're also gonna let you know when you're doing wrong and still wanna be your friend. They're not gonna bully you. They're not gonna make fun of you. A true friend was always gonna be there through thick and thin. Quinn, remember that as well. When you're in daycare frolicking and stuff, you know, don't be friends with bullies, never bully. Make sure when you find your right friend, you guys stick together and you guys get each other's back because that's what matters at the end of the day. People need people, you know? Anyway, hope you girls have a great night. Sleep well, have pleasant dreams, wake up in a great mood. I will and forever will always love you girls and we'll talk tomorrow.